Okay. Go. Cheer. <laughs> My name is Claire. I just returned from a year living abroad in Australia with a newfound appreciation for the Emerald Isle. I want to do everything cool there is to do in Ireland and I'm giving myself two years to do it. This is my Irish bucket list. So we're in Westport and it's the night before the Mayo Rose Trials and we're just in a B&B across the road. I just thought I'd show you the room. So it's a very nice room, but check this out. There's a bath in it. <laughs> in the room. Like, I call it shenanigans. So it's the morning of. I haven't taken off last night's makeup or anything yet. I'm up at stupid o'clock to get breakfast. And uh, yeah. I'm actually like, I just thought about having to go see this night and now I'm like, I've got pain in my stomach, I'm so anxious. That's where I'm going later. When I get nervous, I talk to myself in the mirror. So I was just in there, in the bathroom, talking to myself in the mirror, kind of practicing for tonight, which is stupid because then you get something in your head that you actually shouldn't say. I was in there talking to the mirror in my bathroom and I was doing really awkward things with my hands. So I was like, hey, listen, you know what I mean? Like this. Who does that? Why would I do that in the practice? I have to get up on stage and sort of, I feel like I have to impress people. I feel, and I've never had that feeling before. Up until now, I've been like, listen, if they like me, they like me. And if they don't, they don't. Like, what can I do about it? But this is, ac this is actually the whole point of entering this is that you're being judged. All right, so I'm off now for the first interview. It's one on my own, then one in a group, and then the nighttime one, I'll have to get changed for that one. Um, <laughs> and this is a terrible mirror, but this is what I'm wearing to the one-on-one -on -one interview. I went for going to work and then I put a leather jacket over it because, hello, I don't have any other jackets. <laughs> so this is me, my look for the rose. I'm not naked. <laughs> I have a dress on. Um, and then I have boots on because my foot is still a broken I can't wear high heels yeah whatever gotta go <laughs> we're so tight for time the glamour <laughs> but in terms of why you want to open roses, it's something you want to do in a while. Um, yeah, it's kind of, I've always had this sort of love affair with the roses and I was always watching on TV and last year I would a live blog just for the independent. Um, but I do this series on YouTube called The Irish Bucket List where I travel around the country and I do all the cool things there is to do. And I try to do things that like are kind of off the beaten track. So, like a couple of weeks ago, I wrestled an alligator in Kilkenny. Um, oh. <laughs> well, I say wrestled, I sort of hung on for dear life while the like, trainer would talk, it's fine, it's fine, relax. Um, <laughs> so I was doing up the list for that, and then my one of my best friends, Romaine, was the mayor of Rose around seven years ago, and she said, you know what you should do as part of your bucket list, you should go for the mayor of Rose. Uh, very short, did you really want to show us uh, a video? Tell us about the video first of all. Um, so just before I tell you about the video, could I take a clip for you the video? Course, I'm yeah. making an Irish bucket list video about running for the Rose of Tralee, so I'd just like to get a clip if everyone could cheer, that'd be great. No bother at all, we'll uh, allow you to get that as well for a second, so we get things uh, cracking here, ladies and gentlemen. What Wait, does that mean? Woo! All slower. is about to show us her fantastic video. Oh my god. Look. 
absolutely brilliant night. Congratulations to Shifra the Mayo Rose. It was a really good thing to go for. I think everyone should go for this, even if you don't get it. Like it's an absolutely brilliant experience. That's great crack. Mother's from Kerry, yeah, but luckily she didn't really have any interest in the GAA, so there was no issues there. <laughs> so we're on our way home, been detoured down a road. Mr. Dublin over here is not happy with the pothole. It's great crack. I'm sick as a dog. 